local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. With polls showing movement toward Republicans in key races, former Vice President Mike Pence came to North Carolina today trying to turn out voters. He spoke with Republican Senate candidate Ted Budd as his Democratic opponent Sherry Beasley went after both of them for their positions on abortion. Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us tonight. And Michael, uh, the Vice President, former Vice President, is now heading to some key battleground states here in the final days before this election. Right, he tried to make the case here in Raleigh for voters to give Republicans control of Congress again. But Democrat Sherry Beasley said today that would seriously hinder women's rights. Former Vice President Mike Pence returned to North Carolina Wednesday, trying to help Republican Senate candidate Ted Budd in the final days of the campaign. This country's in a lot of trouble. The two talk primarily about energy, education, and the economy, as the nation grapples with an inflation rate not seen in 40 years. And in less than a year and a half, the Biden-Harris administration, an administration whose policy Sherry Beasley would support as a rubber stamp, have literally weakened America at home and abroad. In a poll we released Wednesday in partnership with Emerson College on the Hill, 50% of voters say they support Bud, compared to 45% for Democratic candidate Sherry Beasley. To make a wave happen, you got to get in there and you got you got to get in the pool and you got to splash. Sherry, Sherry. Beasley held a press conference in Raleigh Wednesday, highlighting what's at stake for women. In fact, Mike Pence recently said that he doesn't want to just make abortion illegal. He wants to make it unthinkable. While Bud has co-sponsored a bill to ban abortion nationally after 15 weeks of pregnancy, the subject never came up with Vice President Pence. Beasley also attacked Bud for voting not to certify the results of the election on January 6th, when Pence pushed to move forward with that process after the attack. And we've seen this attempt to overthrow an election on January the 6th, which was indeed violent. And I know that violence under these circumstances or any circumstances are abso is absolutely unacceptable. The former vice president did not take any questions from reporters today. His name has been floated as a possible presidential candidate in 2024, but he didn't have anything new to say about that today. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.